Hi guys, I'm Miss Lisa, and I have a book. I'm sure a lot of you know this book. This is a pretty good book. I had forgotten about this book, and then I saw it again at the library today. It is called Click Clack Moo Cows That Type by Doreen Cronin, and pictures are by Betsy Lewin. Click Clack Clue, Click Clack, Click Clack Moo. That's reminded me of the book I read too. Do you remember? The, the, cow, the cow that said oink and the pig that said moo. Clacky, clacky, moo. Click, clack, moo, clouds. <laughs> Click, clack, moo, cows that type. Have you ever heard of a cow using a typewriter? Do you even know what a typewriter is? It's like a, it's the keyboard. Before it used to be attached to a computer, it was its own machine and you had to put paper in it and it had a ribbon, that's where the ink was, and you would press on the letters and the letter, would, the, 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 I don't even know what it was called, but this little arm would pop up, boop, boop, and that would do the letter that you had typed, boop, boop, and then it would hit the ink ribbon. And so then when it came back down, doo -doo, then the letter that you typed would, it would be on the paper. It was pretty fancy. And you didn't need to plug it in. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears click clack moo, click clack moo, clickety clack moo. At first he could not believe his ears. Cows that type? That's impossible. Click clack moo, click clack moo, clickety clack moo. Whoopsie. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. They typed him a letter. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. It was hard enough that the cows had, excuse me, it was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets. No way, said Farmer Brown, no electric blankets. So the cows went on strike and they left a note on the door. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he could hear the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed. No milk. No eggs. <gasps> no eggs, said Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. Cows that type? Hens on strike? Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. See, there he is pushing the buttons. And there's the paper. And then over here somewhere whoop, whoop, is where the arm comes up with the letter on it. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was a neutral party. That means he wasn't taking anybody's side. So he brought the ultimatum to the cows. Oh boy. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the other animals gathered around the barn to snoop but none of them could understand moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning and he handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Let's see what happens. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. So he left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We would like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. <laughs> look at him typing. And look what happened. They got a diving board. That's a fun book. Click, clack, moo, cows that type. I'm Miss Lisa. I hope you enjoyed today's Porch Time Story Time. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.